Hey everybody, welcome back to Hugo House. Today we'll take a look at this cozy and quiet tiny cottage on a farm surrounded by mountains. Now when you're looking for a vacation to get away from it all, sometimes a hotel just won't cut it. That's when you head to a cozy self-contained cabin like this one on a five acre farm close to Pemberton, British Columbia. The tiny cottage is perfect for a weekend getaway or a longer retreat if needed. It has everything you'd need to be comfortable, yet it has the rustic cabin appeal which is perfect for disconnecting from the busy, fast-paced world. Surrounded by mountains, there's hardly anywhere better to go for some rest and relaxation. The little cottage is sided with redwood siding and surrounded by a little garden with a deck on one side as well. Inside, the small cottage is cozy and warm with plywood lining the walls, creating that cozy wood cabin feel. They also installed hardwood floors in the living room and tile in the dining area. In the front of the home is a nice little living room with a small TV for watching movies. The space is about 200 square feet with a small loft, so it's perfect for two people but no more than four people. There is a futon sofa in the living room to sleep more guests, but the main sleeping area is in the loft with a queen-sized bed. It would be okay for a family with one or two small children but probably no more than two adults would be comfortable in this space. In the main living area is the kitchenette as well, which has an apartment-sized fridge, a toaster oven, and a hot plate. There's also a barbecue out on the deck as well. The indoor bathroom has a shower, a sink, and a flush toilet. So for those who don't like having to use the outhouse when you're staying at a cabin, this would be perfect. It's also nice to see the small cottage and how they make great use of the space they have. There is lots of storage placed high up, which is great for books and other objects. There's also storage above the kitchen cabinets, which is nice. And then just beyond the kitchenette is a little dining area for two people and a built-in bench seat to sit by the window and read. And then the ladder can be pulled down from the ceiling to access the loft sleeping space up above. The loft space is quite small though, so if people are not into sleeping in smaller spaces, there's also the day bed on the main floor which can be slept in as well. Plus, the little window in the loft helps to make it feel more spacious while providing some nice fresh air and views. There is no cell phone service in the area, but there is access to Wi-Fi, but it's via satellite so it's not always the most reliable internet either great for those who really want to disconnect, but probably not great for people who are working while staying there. The property itself is gorgeous with weeping willow trees and lots of lush grass and greenery. It's also close to different lakes, bicycle trails, hiking trails and more. The property is shared with the owners and other guests since they have another home that's available to rent out as well. A small cottage like this would be the perfect size for anyone to build and use as a recreational cabin or to use as they have as a rental property on their land since people are always looking for new and fun vacation ideas like this instead of a typical stay at a hotel. And that's our video and if you like it, consider dropping a like as it really helps this channel to grow. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. We'll be featuring new homes every single day from log homes to tiny homes to vacation homes and other inspiring home ideas. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.